Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Jake Riley, and today we're going to be installing my uh, new Starlight headliner on the 2013 Subaru BRZ. All right, so jumping into this video, you're gonna be wondering why um, the side of this car no longer has the wrap. And that's actually because I haven't installed the wrap on this. You've seen the car with the wrap, you've seen it with the headliner, everything else on it. Real quick, before we get into this video, click the link in the corner right now and go watch that before you check out this video because behind this garage is the car that I've been working on for about two and a half months now and it looks fantastic and uh, just go check out that video, it's pretty epic. Now let's jump back to this episode. But starting from now, um, probably for a couple of weeks, I'm gonna be showing or uploading my videos of me installing everything to make this BRZ 2.0. So. As of now, the list of items is going to be the Starlight Headliner, um, which is all the little tiny lights on the inside of the, uh, or on the top of the headliner. And then hopefully window tint. You'll know if this is on it. I don't, I, that's just kind of my plans right now. And then also the giant graphics on the side of the car. That's BRZ 2.0. Also finishing up this headlight right here. I still haven't done this one, but yeah, that's the plan. So let's jump into this video. If uh, you like BRZ 2.0 just as much as I do, just leave a like on this video and subscribe. And if you have anything to let me know, just leave it in the comments below. But let's jump into uh, installing this headliner. All right, so first off, I don't actually have the fiber optic light, which is what we're gonna be using on top of this car. Well, technically it's not on top. It's gonna be in between this and the fabric, but it's supposed to come tomorrow. And since I have some free time right now, I'm gonna remove the headliner because that's a little bit of a process and drilling all the little holes for the lights is already gonna be enough work that I just wanna get the headliner out of the way and get that ready to install the lights. So let me take you on the inside and I'll show you what we're working with. First off, uh, just a little look around. If you haven't seen my BRZ or uh, seen my review about it, this is my car. Uh, I've got blue shift knob here, which I really like and the red stitching looks really good with it. So this right here is where all of the lights are gonna be. So we have 340 of them, little individual lights that are gonna be in this. But in order to install them in here, we need to be removing this whole thing. So that includes taking off, this is a microphone. We have the light, um, both of the sun reflectors, and then also probably prying this back just enough to get the uh, headliner out. So if you look on here, we have two screws and then I'm pretty sure that this just pops out. You can kind of see this little rivet right there where we put a little flat head and just pry it up. And then all this will come out. Um, that should be basically it on the inside. And so I'm just gonna do a time lapse at this point and then we'll probably cut to tomorrow when I actually have the lights and I'm installing those. Alright guys, so as you can see, I got rid of this visor right here. These are a real pain in the butt, the little clips right here. Um, I got the light out right here. This, I don't think you have to remove. I think, oh, never mind. I think you have to remove it. Um, and then, I don't know if there's, a, there's two clips holding that in. And then this is the last one I have to get. It's a real pain in the butt. You kind of have to fit it in right there. And then the only other thing is back here, you have these little clamps on uh, the rear. And so once I get those off, I already got the pillars here. Um, once I get those, then I will be good to go. And um, we can take this full thing off. You can kind of see the airbag in there, which 
I really hope it doesn't go off. Uh, I probably shouldn't have pulled on this too hard. Uh, super dusty and dirty in there, but yeah, so we'll be running the wire down through that pillar. All right, guys, the slight change of plans. We had a request for a showing today, so I'm not gonna be able to be here and work on the headliner right now. I have to go to my English class, and that's until about four o'clock, and then when I come home, I'll work on it. I still haven't gotten the lights, but I had a friend who uh, graciously let me borrow his drill right here, and we're charging the battery up right over here. Um, let's see, so it's still charging. And uh, once that's charged up, we can start drilling the holes. I think my mom brought a uh, hot glue gun home from her preschool, and so we'll use that to kind of seal the little, like, the lights in the top of the headliner. But that's the plan. The car is definitely interesting to drive with the headliner off. It's, it's just kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna head to English. When I get home, we can get started. So the package just got here. I'm gonna walk down and go pick it up. All right, so when I go grab this, the drill, the battery that I actually got, it's defective. So I need to get a new drill. I think my friend has another one I can borrow. Um, and the other thing is I need a hot glue gun and I don't think we have one, so I might need to go buy one. Right, here we go. We got it. UPS truck's leaving. Let's uh So it's 340 lights. So it should be plenty enough to uh, cover the ceiling. It weighs a good bit. Um, just telling us what it is. Don't need that. Um, there we go. Okay, here it is. And holy cow, this is a lot of lights. Okay, so these are the lights. And we have this right here, which is the engine and the controller. So this controller right here, we've got all the different buttons on it for different colors. And let's actually plug this in and see what it looks like. So all right guys, so I got this plugged in and this is really cool. I mean, you can see those are the ends right there. I can try to get the camera to focus a little bit. Um, kind of hard to tell, but these, all the ends of these will light up and that'll be what gives us that, uh, that look in the top, like the starlight. We've got the motor here, which I don't know where I'm going to put this to be honest, but that runs into your nine volt right here. And then we do have a little controller, um, which does not have any batteries in it right now. So... I'm going to have to run out and get those. I also need to run out and get a hot glue gun and a new drill. So basically everything for this install. It took a lot longer. It's 4.30. I was hoping to be started on this this afternoon, but we're just now getting to it. Obviously, you can see none of these buttons work. It doesn't turn on or off. Um, but, I mean, it's it provides a lot of light. That's it off, and then if we plug it in, that's a ton of light. So looking forward to having this installed. Not looking forward to installing it, though. So I'm going to run out and get everything I need for this install, and then uh, we'll get to the drilling. I've been working on this for a little while. I have the headliner here, and as you can see, right here, we have started to put in some of the uh, fiber optic lights. Now, if you watch videos of this on YouTube, it seems super simple, as do most mods, but this is really, uh, it's really difficult. First of all, um, drilling the holes, you have to count each one, and then the little fiber optic, all the little cables here, huge pain in the butt to put in, you have to hot glue them afterwards. And then the final thing is the box that um, powers all of them. It's this box right here. The cord to connect that to the car is about this long. Now my plan was, to run it down the A pillar right here. Now, if you line this up, you can see that it's probably not going to reach. So I have to find one of these online or something that's longer. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm just hoping when I get there, it'll be kind of self-explanatory. But at this point, I think we have most of the holes drilled on this. Let me show you a little bit underneath. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but underneath here, I don't know if you can see it, we have all the little cables coming through. Now when we get those, the reason those are hanging out a little bit is when we get it on there, we'll cut each one flush with the headliner and that'll make it so that it looks like dots and not a cord. 
So I'm gonna get back to working on this. It's now about probably seven or 7.30. I was hoping to be done with it by now, but that's not gonna happen. I'm gonna continue to work on this, but thanks for watching. Uh, please give this video a like. This is taking a lot of work to get BRZ 2.0 ready. And I'm hoping it looks good when it's done because this is uh, a little stressful right now. All right, so quick update. I It's about an hour or so since uh, Brandon left. And I just finished, like if you were to draw a straight line down here, um, this side of it, I think they're all in. Every hole that we drilled, they're in. I now have to hot glue them. I got a little burn earlier, but no big deal. I, it was gonna happen sooner or later. But we have a probably, if I do the math right, probably about another 170 on this side. But I don't think we drilled exactly the number of holes that we, like, that we need so i might have some space to put some extra ones if i'd like but man this is a pain in the butt i'm just they're all in there and i'm just hoping i can kind of clean this mess up uh when i get around to actually getting it in the car because i definitely got in over my head on this one as with most projects but i'm gonna keep going and uh let's just we're gonna hope for the best this is probably gonna be a couple day project i just went on amazon and i ordered a new or not a new, but an extension for this cord right here. So it plugs in here and then it extends it. I think it was a 10 foot cord. So we can run it pretty much anywhere in the car and have it go to that glove box, which is perfect because I was really, uh, really wondering how we were gonna make this work. But I'm gonna get back to working because this is definitely a very tedious project. It's not like, it's not difficult. It's just kind of stressful. And there's a lot of little things that could go wrong. Um, so I'll probably catch back up when I have this finished and maybe light it up and just kind of test it out. Right here we got a very special package. This package right here is the extension cord that we need for uh, this box right here in order to wire it. So it's been a couple days since I last videoed. It's been, it's now Thursday. I think I started this on Monday or Tuesday, but about to get everything in the car, get this in there. I have all the, um, everything is put in here. We have a lot of extra lights, but I'm just gonna leave that on top. Kind of a mess, but I'm gonna go sit down my backpack and get uh, get some lunch and then we'll get started on this. All right guys, so some great news to wrap up this video. It's been about four hours since I last checked in. I think that was when I got the box with the extension cord, but as you can see, the table right here is completely empty. And if we go on the inside, I'll go in, um, let's go in the driver's seat real quick. Um, grab the keys. So after a lot of work, We get in here, and as you can see up here, it's no longer blue. So if we turn on the car and then grab my little remote right here and we click on, it turns on. So check that out. We've got a Starlight headliner inside the BRZ. I think it looks fantastic up here. Uh, got a few little things to clean up. The only annoying thing with this is when it's off, you can tell that there's supposed to be stuff, like it's pretty messy up here. But I'm gonna try to clean that up. So we have we have white, red, we have green, blue, um, and then all these different colors, as you can see right here, all the different shades of uh, different colors. Then you can have it jump and fade like that. And then the cool thing is, as you can see at the bottom here, we have a function that says music. And so that basically uses the box that is in there in the ceiling. Um, and it kind of senses the music or I guess sound waves and it'll flash it depending on the beat. So an interesting thing I tried out was I turned my car on and started revving it and it would flash to the lights. So. That's really cool. I'm glad we got this done. Um, 
huge pain in the butt. As you can see, I need to put the headrest back on, but finally got it done and um, cleaned up. The hardest part was over here on this side because that's where most of the wires were. So it was really hard to get this to go actually on. I spent the most time on this right here. So we finally got that all done. I'm gonna clean up in here and then we'll be good. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this, please give a like and subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day, bye.